Earlier this month, two senators, including Florida's Marco Rubio, urged the Department of Education to create a college savings account pilot program that would track the academic readiness and encourage college savings for would-be college students. Joining us now to discuss this, what this means for your college-bound student is Adam Wolf from Wolf Retirement Navigation. Adam, thank you for joining us. I appreciate Good it. Good to see you, Scott. Talk to me about this. This is, um, this is new. There are other programs out there. How is this mm -hmm. one kind of stand out? This, this sort of stands out for a couple different reasons, but one is um, it it's, appears to be bipartisan. There's actually a Republican you and a Democrat. You a lot of that lately. Yeah, especially now, nowadays. Um, but there's a, you know, they're coming together to try to um, fund accounts for lower income kids as they move uh, closer towards college age to get them prepared for college. And so funding with a separate account uh, monies by the government into that account and then tracking their progress over time and having you know technology help help them with that to track them and get them prepared for school because uh, you know going to college uh, for a lot of folks is a, is a good thing. Trying to figure out how this is different. I have, for my kids, I have a 529 plan, which I think mm -hmm. started under the Bush administration. There are IRAs out there and other prepaid calls. How does this one stand out? Why is this one different? Yeah, I think this is going to be different because it's going to be geared towards low income. They haven't defined low income and they haven't defined how exactly it's going to um, grow um, over time if it gets implemented to begin with. But I'm, uh, I'm in the camp where our government is running a $500 billion deficit every year. We have $20 trillion in debt. Um, this you know, funding an account is one thing, but for lower income folks, as they get closer to retirement or to uh, to college age, when you get to that retire, uh, college age, you're looking at um, scholarships, you're looking at grants, you're looking at loans, and there's already, in my opinion, you know, the sources there for going to school for the lower income folks. But this will be there. Uh, it looks like if this goes through, it'll be reality. Do we have any idea how? A student, a family could access it yet. There's no details on that yet, um, but once there is, I'm sure it's going to hit the papers. Um, because It'll be it, cause, yeah. Because when it's when it's something that's available for folks to grow over time to get towards college. Another thing I saw in there, it wasn't geared towards, um, you know, technol uh, technological schools or technology schools. That or surprises me schools. that it's just for college. Uh, do you think that is possibly something Washington could look at? Because trade schools are a big thing uh, all over exactly I, I think there sh it should you know if it doesn't it needs to be and um, because you know not everybody goes to college everybody goes their different directions whether it's military or trade schools technology schools those types of things um, and those funds should be available to to those folks as well I believe you're saying right now that for low income um, there are a lot of options the IRA the the grants the loans could could this still hit a group that's not able to take advantage, give them another resource, because college isn't cheap. Yes, from, from what I've learned and what I've read about it, there's not, not a lot of whole information out there, but it's, it's going to be a way to mentor kids and track kids as they go along. So with the parents um, being in control, you know, having mentors and having coaches and having teachers, you know, weigh in and help mentor the kids as they and move so forward too. And so that's different. That's something that an IRA is not going to give me. It's not. You're on your own with your IRA. This yeah. is more of a buy-in from a lot of the folks who, who are surrounding the child. So that will be something that will definitely add to it. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks, I appreciate Scott. it. This, appreciate uh, it. Interesting to see how this will go through, Adam Wolf, as we go on closer to uh, the Congress looking at whether or not this is implemented. And we will post this interview as more of the program unfolds a little later on newsforjacks.com. Just check the morning show page after the show is over.